Hello everybody, OpenAI, the creator of ChatGPT, has released Sora, the video GPT, so to say. Because OpenAI has just unveiled its latest product, it's called Sora. Creating videos could be as simple as typing a text message or writing an email. It generates videos up to one minute long based on whatever prompt a user types into a text box. Now you tell me, how would the video GPT Sora will impact you on two fronts? Number one, professionally and number two, personally. Take five seconds, think about it and write your answer in the comments box and let's just then continue with the video now imagine rajamoli trying to recreate bahubali through sora he might enter a prompt saying that hey can you give me a video footage of bahubali prabhas actually riding a horse on snow or riding a horse on ice riding a horse on let's say fire it would be very 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 interesting right to recreate movies and if it comes from the original directors themselves and if they can use that footage in some of their upcoming movies very interesting because they can't go back and edit the movies or they can't go back and ask prabhas to act once again in the bahubali movie right so let's see how this space will evolve. But let's start with what is this Sora all about? Sora is a model which will help you generate video from text inputs. You enter a text prompt just like ChatGPT and you will get a video. Now that's very interesting because video production is typically very time consuming, very effort intensive. I'm a content creator and I do know the process. And if this process is getting simplified to the extent where you just enter that simple prompt and a video pops out, that's going to be a game changer for a lot of people. Now, see this video is actually an AI generated video and it's very hard to identify the difference if it is a real video versus an AI generated video. Unless you know that it's an AI generated video, unless you consciously look towards it with a critical eye, you will not find too many differences. Now, this is going to be a game changer primarily because at the speed at which it is developing, some of the AI generated videos which were from 2023 were absolutely at a very low level compared to where we are right now when it comes to videos generated through artificial intelligence. There are a few problems though. Yes, we are all going gaga over what are the possibilities, but there are a few issues as well which are very important for us to understand. And let's start with the chat GPT example. You go ahead and type in chat GPT, how do I upskill in AI? And it will give you 10 or 12 possible ways in which you can upskill in AI. Type the same prompt again, it will give you a different answer. It is not reliable. At an individual level, you might be okay, you will take the best of both the answers and you will try to create your own map for upskilling in AI. But if it's an organization, organizations have to rely on certain data. They have to say that over the next few quarters, this is what we will do because of this answer or because of this logic and if that logic that is generated by chat gpt is not very reliable then that's a problem so reliability is a big question mark not even in the video space i'm talking about the text space the second thing is with respect to deep fake videos well sora is still in the research phase it's not open to you and me but still if whenever it opens right in the next 6 to 12 months we will see a lot more people coming up with creative prompts assume Hey, Joe Biden or Donald Trump being very aggressive on Chinese imports, trying to curb Chinese imports. If this is a prompt and a video that is generated by AI becomes viral, it can potentially impact what and how the election results would be like. And hence, there is a lot of negativity associated as well. And that is one of the primary reasons I was very excited when I saw the OpenAI Sora's homepage because the homepage itself very clearly talks that we are prioritizing safety. You don't see that on ChatGPT's homepage. ChatGPT's homepage is about creativity, but Sora's homepage is about safety. So very, very excited. And it was good to see that the emphasis is on safety right now. Now jumping into what could be the impact on you and me at a personal level, I believe it makes us a little more curious. Our creative energies, juices will start flowing. Just like how we used chat GPT initially, now we will be looking forward to use Sora as well. Of course, if it is free for a bit, right? So we will go ahead and start trying to use our own prompts, create our own AI generated videos and see if we can showcase, publicize it on Instagram, Reels, anywhere. See, the video length is up to one minute. So you can produce a shot very well. The second thing on the 
personal friend is i believe this curiosity will also help us become much more conscious consumers of content from the internet because it would be very difficult for us going forward to identify which is a video generated from ai versus which is video generated from an individual creator from an organic original source and if we don't know the difference we might be a part of the problem we will be the ones who will be propagating these deep fake videos so even being curious will help us realize that we need to be conscious consumers of these ai generated videos and how will it impact our professional life well to start off with enterprises companies the clients that we have would not be so encouraging or would not be very excited to start using this technology immediately and that is the place where a lot of smaller marketing agencies will come in and say we can create videos at a much faster pace with a much cheaper budget now that is the reason why i think it's a huge advantage for the folks who are in the marketing agency space but for the rest of us it might be not of a very high impact until the foreseeable future for the next 3 to 5 years if you look at the impact of the chat gpt it was very similar a lot of roles in the copywriting space copywriting means the people who write advertisements the scripts for the advertisements those jobs got impacted nothing else even those jobs not in the big brands because big brands are not very risk taking but these jobs got impacted and the marketing agencies started doing these tasks at a much more efficient level so i believe in the short term you will not find too much of an impact at an enterprise level but in the long run well movie industry is a place where there could be a lot of changes as we were talking initially rajamouli could be coming up with some creative prompts and he might be using some of the footage in his upcoming movies i would be very excited to watch those he will definitely make sure that it doesn't look like an ai generated video unless he is actually putting a tag that a hey, this is artificially generated by sora now a fundamental question that i have that i was thinking through and i want to ask you and get your opinion about is so far original content was used to train ai and ai used all the knowledge from the original content to come up and generate new content whether it is text or whether it is video but going forward the content most probably a lot of it would be ai generated both text and video so where will the ai learn from do we have to get used to seeing more ai content without originality and it might push us into a loop of watching similar content again and again and again now that's a big question mark how content creation itself would evolve probably the space for original content creation would actually get better and that would be valued a lot more not necessarily just by individuals but also by organizations as well do let me know what you think about it and also please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already more than 80% of the folks watching the videos have not subscribed to the channel and i would be motivated to see more people joining me on this delightful journey and hope it benefits both of us see you again in the next one guys bye bye